So I'm back at my cousin Tony's house. A couple videos ago, we cut down this giant maple tree that was in his backyard. And this thing was a monster, but it fell just where we wanted it to. No issues, but if you haven't seen it, check it out. Now I'm gonna try to tear this stump out with a backhoe. Tony and I both went to quite a bit of trouble to try to find a one foot bucket because all I had was a two foot bucket with a flat cutting edge. And that is just not ideal for cutting and rooting out stumps, so. Coat, dig, dry, DIY. Um, I called up a farmer I know. He's got a bucket and I'm gonna try to borrow that. See if we can't get this out. Outside is seven. Okay. So the outside of yours is eight. So I had Tony go grab this one foot bucket and it will not fit on the backhoe. And I, I have an adapter at home, like a quick attach adapter that I normally take off when I'm running my a wood splitter. And I think that maybe that will accommodate this bucket. So we're gonna run home and see if we can grab that adapter and if it'll work with this. If not, I'm not gonna try to dig this stump out with my two foot bucket. It's five, that's what we needed. That's right. See, I think that's and what that's for. And this is the eight in here. Of course it's on wheels. bucket didn't fit my quick attach either so it's not gonna work the day is a little disappointing in the meantime I found another one foot bucket this is also from a different local farmer and uh, I think this one has a better chance of working it's built just a little bit differently than what the last one was I think I have some pins that will work for it they're not the right size it's not even close to fit in that I did have some smaller pins from an old forgotten project of long ago. So it's not ideal, but since this is just gonna be a stumping bucket, I'll get away with using it a few hours a year. For what I'm after, that'll do just fine. I gotta see if this back one's gonna fit. Too snug. goodness well since this one's so tight it'll make up for the front one being a little loose if I find that the front hook is too sloppy on the smaller diameter pin then maybe I'll find a sleeve to put on here and uh, make the diameter a little bit more like the uh, full-size pin it's really close Okay, I think that's gonna work. I just need to find a bushing that is an inch and a quarter, inch and three quarter ID, two and an eighth inch OD. And that will make that pin the same size. I ran out during lunch and grabbed this piece of pipe from the metal store. I can cover up the rust. There we go. a good bit of a slop out of it. We got some. I like one foot buckets for stumping because you don't have the full width of the bucket to put a lot of side leverage on the dipper stick of the backhoe itself. It's just a lot easier to get all your leverage into 12 inches of space than it is across two foot, if that makes sense. So I think this will do a better job of ripping out that great big maple stump we got to do. Those stumps are going to put up a fight, but You know what this is, Tony? Looks like an ice auger to me. Look. When we tore down our grandparents' barn, I found this in there and I was told it was an auger for dynamite, for dynamite and stumps. Can you imagine if we dynamited this stump? <laughs> <laughs> and 
I can't imagine drilling into there and putting dynamite in. That would be awesome. But unfortunately, that's not in the cards for today. We're going to have to use that thing. What if you went into the side? Like Maybe you could go in the side. <laughs> this is going to be a challenge, and it'll be interesting to see how long it takes. So we better get going on it. Here, you start augering. I'll start digging. Where's the edge of the building, anyway? Right here's the corner. That's the corner of the building, so the whole thing's mostly out of it. All right, the biggest thing about digging out stumps is trying to maintain your patience. Whenever I dig out a stump, I'm reminded of that, uh, that old commercial for Tootsie Pops, like how many licks does it take to get to the center? Because the guy, the owl that's doing the test, he gives up so quick. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three. Three. That's what happens is you start pecking away at a stump and then before you know it you give up and you just try to muscle it out of there and it never works out. So what I'm going to do is try to dig on each side of it and get through those first roots on the top. And this is hard on the back though. I'm already... I'm going to get all the dirt out of there. I kind of try to get the bucket in there and then pry up on stuff. Use the leverage to pry up on the roots. And it just takes a long time. You gotta, like I said, you gotta be patient. You just gotta keep pecking, pecking, pecking. You know, you get going on this and think, oh, I'm gonna take my time and go easy and go easy on the backhoe. And then you start looking at your watch. And you think, this is taking so long. You know, maybe we should have ground this out. Maybe we should have did this. You know, the problem with grinding this stump out is it's going to be right on the corner of his new barn. And whenever you grind a stump, you never get all the wood that's below the surface. And that's not to say I'm going to get all the wood here, but I will get a lot more of it than what a stump grinder can get. And then you don't feel like you got that cavity underneath that's rotten out. Now, maybe somebody will tell me different. Maybe they'll say, I would have ground this and not thought anything of it, but usually for me, the practice is to get the stump out, dig down to some good clay, some good solid subsoil, and then uh, build on top of that. Now, this one's got a great big leader <coughs> coming off of it right here. So we're going to have to shoot, shoot through that. Take my time and chew through that guy. cut off all the way around the perimeter of that stump. And that to me is the only way you have any chance of getting it out with something this small. You know, I should have a giant excavator here to dig this out, but I don't have a giant excavator. This is what we got, so this is what we're using. like the worst thing you can do with a backhoe. 
Let's try to rip stumps out with it. Huh? I doubt it. He wants to know if I can move it yet. Let's see. If I can grab a hold of it. Good budge? Maybe you see a budge. This might be a two day event. Hey, it's wiggling. It's finally wiggling a little. She's loose now. My only shot of doing anything with that is to get it on the trailer. I can't, I don't even think I can get it in the dump truck. Well, we've had two or three weeks of stuff that's super huge. I cut down probably the biggest tree that I'd ever cut down. Then I went to tractor time with Tim's and cut up the one of the biggest oak trees I had ever seen. Did you see that? Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> and now I dug out probably one of the biggest stumps I've ever dug out with a backhoe. So and that was now, impressive. Yeah, I was, was probably what is it? Maybe at least 12 foot diameter. Yeah. Hole. It was a big hole. I kind of parked the backhoe in there so you get a scope of how deep it is. It's it's huge. So what are you going to do next? You're going to try to... Uh, I need to grade some topsoil. Then I'm going to bring backfill in, get this all compacted down into where the holes foundation's are. going to be. All right. And then you're going to trench a footer for the building. Yes. All right. You're one step closer to getting your building done. <laughs> day by day. <laughs> <laughs> one day at a time. <laughs> all right. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, we'll go on to... i got to actually go back to work now again. So. Oh, yeah.
yeah, that was an extended lunch, but I'll get back there and finish up. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, take care. So how long did that stump take? Almost two hours. I hit my own drone, dang it. At least it didn't fall very far. Now it's got grease on it. That's okay. <laughs>